Halva apple pie bars. It's a three-step process. I'll make the crust, the filling, and the top. Easy. To get started, I'll add three quarters of a cup of softened unsalted butter to my stand mixer. And then I'll add a quarter cup of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, I'll get this mixing. I'll mix it on medium until it's fluffy. Okay. I'm gonna add one cup of all-purpose flour and a half a cup of whole wheat flour. And I'll mix this until the flour combines and forms a dough. And that'll be good to go. I have my pan that's been lined with parchment paper. I'll scrape the dough right into the pan. I'll press this out evenly. The crust looks great. I'll bake it now at 350 for 10 minutes until it's just set. And while that's in the oven, I'll make my apple filling. I'm using a tart Granny Smith and a sweet gala, and the combination adds great dimension. So I'll just skim off the top. And now I'll slice these into quarter inch slices. And then the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze some lemon over them and that's gonna prevent them from browning. For the rest of my filling ingredients, I'll add two tablespoons of brown sugar and the dark molasses-y flavor of the brown sugar goes so nicely with these. Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, which will help the filling stay together. A quarter teaspoon of salt. And then for my spices, I've got a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom, and some freshly grated nutmeg. Okay, I'll mix everything together. It's time to check on the crust. This looks perfect. I'll add the apples right on top. I'll spread them out. And now I just have to make the final element of my pie bars, the sweet cinnamon crumble. You just add flour, brown sugar, salt, and cinnamon, then whisk everything until it's A-OK -okay combined. And what makes this into a crumble is the butter. I have six tablespoons of softened, unsalted butter. And I'll get in here with my hands and smash it up with the dry ingredient so that it gets crumbly. The butter is thoroughly incorporated into the dry ingredients, so now I'll distribute it all over the top of the apples. Halva is a sweet, crumbly candy made of sesame seeds, and it goes so well with the apples and the cinnamon. So I'm gonna crumble this all over the top. Few pinches of sprinkles will not do any harm. These look perfect. I'll put them into bake at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes until they're lightly browned. Here I go for a taste. Mmm. 